okay now uh, in this video let's uh, get to the third one third routing protocol let me just maximize this yeah third routing protocol in wireless scenario uh, it is called as the dsr dynamic source routing routing protocol so the network scenario or the wireless network scenario is the same that we had in the previous two cases so we'll just reuse the same thing all we need to do is we need to just change the routing protocol to dsr and uh, and then just observing the code inside the code in the simulation parameter setup uh, note we'll have to change the routing protocol to dsr of course this also is very important so the queue that needs to be used should be of this type so these are the two changes we'll have to do apart from that yes file names and all those things so having said that let's uh, keep this to a side let's uh, now get back to our ubuntu terminal and then here fine so the way we were progressing were that uh, we have this tcl file dsdv tcl dsdvs from the previous one we'll just make a copy of this so we'll just say uh, how do i make a copy i think here yeah save as and then i'll just rename it dsr save it so we have now a new file dsr.tcl okay and uh, so the changes that we need to do so let's scroll up yeah few changes that we need to do here so here this is one thing that needs to be named as dsr routing protocol routing protocol apart from that remember we had to change the queue type also so queue type instead of this we are supposed to use the one that is specified in the manual so let's open the manual and then let's uh, do a cut and paste of it so that we don't do any typos typing mistakes so cm mu primary queue so let's copy this come back here and the whole thing needs to be replaced and we replaced it copy oh uh, it hasn't copied so that means i'll have to uh, all i need to do is i need to remove this cmu primary queue is this the one we wanted cmu primary queue yes i think we have got it right here okay then we move down and uh, file names as before we are supposed to change it to dsr and uh, likewise here also we are supposed to change it to dsr and the congestion window also we want it to be saved in a file with dsr and the file name repeats at uh, in fact uh, four places so in fact we should not forget the one that is there in the finish function the name file that will be used in the finish function we'll have to change there as well some students miss that part and then uh, they'll be thinking that they did the modifications but the animation is still not changed it's showing the old one that's the reason for that is that you didn't change it in the finish function so you'll have to change it here it's also so totally four places we have say, changed it we have done a save we'll go back to the terminal in the terminal we do an s experiment 08 dsr dot tcl and uh, good no hiccups we have the animation that has come up as usual with the uh, initial position that we had said and now we'll increase the step size so that the animation plays faster minor changes that we'll notice here are okay zero and one are moving and then when they get into the range of two let's see what they do good they have started using two as a relay and started communicating and okay good so once they find that zero and one are close by they have uh, dropped the relay that is a hop and they're directly communicating between zero and one zero and one are moving apart let's see what happens they're moving apart they are far off they're getting far off they're getting further far now observe this they found that two is a better path now so they are using two as a relay good so dsr that's the difference 
uh, it has implemented when compared to the other AODV and DSDV. So whenever it finds two uh, is the better path, I mean hopping through two or relaying through two is the better option, it uses two. And when it finds that zero and one are close enough, uh, it directly uses the single path zero and one by dropping the hop, it does not use two. And when zero and one got far off, again it realized that okay signals are getting weak and it started using the relay too. Good. So that's what we observed in visual. So let's look at the statistics. Let's come back here and to look at the statistics we know it should be MGAT wireless and then the trace file should be 08 hyphen DSR dot TR and put the statistics here. Now we can see if you directly observe the throughput, we can see that the throughput has now increased further. It has gone beyond 400 kilobits per second because of that action of DSR routing. And then if we want to compare it with in GNU plot, GNU plot MGAT underscore throughput plot. Now observe this. This is the throughput because of the DSR. We can see DSR throughput has overtaken the DSDV throughput and the AODV throughput also. You can see that it is at the higher. It reached at the peak of 450 kilobits per second on the average. However, on the average it settled at something like 440, 430 or so. That is one difference we see. And let us also have a look at the, uh, the congestion window. How did the TCP handle the congestion window? For that we will have to do MGAT congestion window okay and then we can see here uh, of course this one you see this one is because D is because of DSR DSR is this plot and you can see that it started off uh, along with AODB and then it realized that uh, it start it, this duration it was using two as the hop and then it realized that zero and one are close enough and a direct path can be set up that's where we can see a discontinuity when they started using 0 and 1 started directly communicating. However, since the path was very good, so the congestion window also increased very steeply when compared to the AODV. Then uh, observe here, so when 0 and 1 went out of range, while uh, uh, DSDV dropped off, observe a small discontinuity over here. Uh, DSR what it did was, it realized that it could still use 2 as a hop or a relay and it continued and then it went all the way and then when 2 also became out of range that is where it dropped off. That means DSR is kind of uh, best of both here AODB and likewise towards the end uh, and the weight has increased. It is used the best of uh, DSDV and again towards the end it has used the way AODB works. So, in summary we can see that DSR is kind of a best of both of these protocols and that is the reason throughput also is increased when compared to the other two. Okay, So, we will stop here and in the subsequent videos what we will do is we will just use one of these routing protocols in the network layer AODV. However, in the data link layer that is the MAC layer we will keep changing the MAC layer now. So far all these three experiments we have done with Wi-Fi as the MAC layer. In the subsequent, what we'll do is we'll just fix this routing protocol and change the MAC layer to Bluetooth and the sensor MAC and see the performance. Okay, see you in next videos.